Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale, the Joker figure. But I actually picked this up from the folks over at Alter Ego Comics. Like I was able to find the figure there, and he has just arrived. I gotta admit, though, the box, before we even have a look at the figure, the box itself looks incredible. I like the simplicity in the fact that it's just a black box, and then we've got the purple spade uh, shape on the front with the ha 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 all in there. Down below at the very bottom of the box, it says the, of course, sixth scale figure. This is Sideshow Collectibles uh, Entry into the the realm of comic book figures and while this may not perhaps be the first figure that they've produced I am definitely excited to get this out of packaging on the side of the box the Joker which this particular font I have loved since I was a child I've always liked this design and to get this on a shirt if I was to get this in a black shirt with this purple logo this Joker logo on the front of it I would be very happy with that on the side of, on the back of the box you get some really cool artwork of the Joker. Very sinister, very evil Joker with his straight blade. Um, it says, of course, uh, SideshowCollectibles.com, uh, where you can also pick this up from as well. Uh, the Joker 6th scale figure. On the inside of the box, we can actually just open this box up. You know what? Let's flip the box down. That's a lot easier. We'll just flip, pull this thing off, the top lid here as it, the box is very similar to a shoe style box. Spot says shoe style box, it just basically means that the lid comes off as opposed to hinging open. And we flip the box back up and you can see once again some really neat artwork with the Joker. I see a lot of this and this reminds me of the killing joke. Uh, of course we got Joker also with the laughing fish, his stick of dynamite, he's also got a lighter and of course the clown prince of crime perfectly painted here. That's a really nice image of the Joker. You can take this back sleeve off, or actually really this front sleeve here, and you got yourself the Joker here. Now of course the majority of the figure is still, you've had the Joker here but a lot of accessories and everything else will be beneath this tray here. Now having said that, Spot's going to take himself a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up and when we come back we're going to get a better look at the Joker. There's definitely more heading your way guys, don't go anywhere. Oh no. Stay tuned. And just before, Spot tips it down, before we have a look at all the accessories that come with the Joker, of course, let's have a look at the Joker first. Take him off his display stand. By the way, the display stand that he comes with is as equally cool as it was with the box. A nice black base featuring the ha-ha-ha all over the base surface there. The prongs, of course, to hold the Joker in place. That's certainly uh, always appreciated. I really like also the fact that they included the base. But let's have a look at the Joker first, because I gotta say, he is incredible. I really like this, this figure quite a bit. Um, what I do like about it is the fact that we don't get a lot of larger 1-6 scale cartoon, or in this case, comic uh, versions of characters. To no, to no sense is this figure a realistic sculpt of the Joker. What we're getting is a very stylized, uh, taking really all the elements of what makes up the Joker and packaging it into this really nice sculpted piece. The hands, or actually I should say the head, the head is hand painted and uh, really the layers of paint in the face is just phenomenal. I don't know who has sculpted this face at all, but uh, definitely really top notch on the face. The creases around the wrinkles of his eyes, the uh, the sunken in mouth, which I, is something I really like. How the the gum the gums the visible gums, but you can see how far they go back. I mean, this is a really big smile that the Joker is casting. Um, it's not quite a, a white face either. In fact. The face almost has more of a pinkish wash to it. Uh, from a distance, it certainly looks more like a white, but as you get progressively closer to the figure, you can really see a lot of those added paint touches 
that weren't necessarily there, uh, you know, when you were looking further away. It makes me wonder, looking at it, whether this particular Joker has the dyed skin, or if he's just a madman that has painted his face white. Um, I especially like the fact that he's got more of this pink in the ears, again, and uh, cleft chin. Again, really elements to what, when I think of the Joker, this is kind of really the Joker that I think about. The short hair, the short, um, almost quaffed hair that you would get with the, like, the old 50s style of characters. The hair is sculpted really nice as well. I like the black wash that they put in the hairs in there also. But it's re he's definitely got a sinister, devilish look to his face. That is not to say that this is the only face that comes included with the Joker, because he does also come with a uh, hat version, or wearing a hat version uh, head as well. And of course, the difference, too, between them is that this Joker is laughing hysterically. This one is just grinning. Uh, to change out the head quite easily, you just unpeg. You kind of have to hold the neck a little bit just to kind of wiggle the head out. And it just takes a little bit of but finessing. But once changed, you have something that looks like that. I don't generally, I don't generally have a lot of Jokers with hats on. In fact, I'm more the kind that really prefers Joker at, with just his hair. But uh, to get him with this hat and especially that face, that is awesome. I love it. Also, too, when I look at this particular face, the first thing I also think about is this figure needs a trench coat. Luckily, the folks over at Sideshow Collectibles have also included a trench coat, which that you can put onto the Joker, something that looks like this. Now, I find the one thing with the jacket is it's a little hard to get on because the, the trench coat is a very fitted a trench coat. It doesn't have a lot of space allotted to get it onto the Joker, so you really have to do a little bit of finagling, a little bit of adjusting to get these sleeves on and get everything moving. Uh, the best advice I could really give you guys also is to uh, probably take your hands out, not your hands, but take the hands off the figure. Uh, it makes things a little easier for getting the figure, uh, his arms, through those sleeves. Um, but it's a, it's a good... It's a, I guess it would be, what, a double-breasted uh, trench coat, uh, though it doesn't actually have any buttons on the interior or on the inner seam of the jacket. So you can't close it, but uh, I would not be inclined to probably close it if it was on the Joker anyways. And uh, you know what? Just for added giggles, I think Joker probably would also have a popped collar, which um, I think kind of fills in just the, the uh, narrowness of his neck. Uh, but it's a it's a really good look for the Joker. I guess also by having the collar up, uh, you are seeing the black on the underside, but really from the front, you're not you're not going to see that necessarily. Um, it's just a it's a really really good look, and uh, it's so interesting with really the idea of Joker is with Joker and fans loving the Joker as they are. Fans prefer Joker in certain versions and certain appearances. Um, while some people maybe prefer the Joker with again the uh, the hat, the full trench coat, it really this harks back to like the gangster, uh, the mobster end of Joker or the more looming character of the Joker. Uh, but it, it's definitely it's definitely a good look for the character. Again, for me, my matter of preference, I really prefer the the non hat. You know, and then have the trench coat off, and just have the Joker in his uh, in his tailed uh, his tailed uh, tuxedo coat. Uh, but definitely options there are always available, and I'm glad that Sideshow Collectibles included the additional trench coat and, of course, the additional uh, uh, hatted uh, alternate head. So a really nice touch that they included those extra pieces. And along with an alternate head and, of course, the alternate uh, jacket that you could put on Joker, Joker certainly comes with a lot of other accessories as well. More importantly, he does come with a lot of hands. Uh, currently, of course, he comes with the two closed fist hands. But on top of that, above and beyond that, you've got eight extra hands. Um, Sideshow certainly includes a lot when it comes to Joker and really gives you the option to mix and match to how you want your Joker displayed and certainly what he is currently doing. Uh, the hands are extremely easy to take out and you just unpeg them like so. And it doesn't appear that they do come with any extra pegs, but it's certainly fine because each hand comes with their own peg. Um, 
Of the hands available, you've got more of a kind of a, well, hands really geared towards holding objects. Um, you get, of course, <laughs> one thing I really like, you get a buzzer hand. Really a nice touch. This would be good for a handshake. I don't know if I would handshake somebody. Obviously, you may not know he has a buzzer, but he's got more of an open hand. Once again, like kind of a closed, partially open hand. Um, certainly hands intended for every function or everything that you could imagine. This would be more ideal for a gun. Wait, somebody say gun. We'll get into that in a second. And, of course, some other various closed hands. But you get eight extra hands, including the hands that you've been looking at this whole time. Um, so, having a look at some of the accessories, you know what? Let's put in, speaking of guns, we'll unpick his hand. Put in the trigger hand. And he does also come with one of his accessories being a pistol. Actually, this is a revolver. revolver. Um, it does. You know what? We'll just put Joker here for a second. The revolver does. Let's get a little closer look on the revolver here. A nice silver finish. It does open, as you can see right here. Some bullets also are contained inside the revolver. Uh, this, the actual uh, trigger, the back section of the gun doesn't move or anything like that, nor does the trigger of the gun, but it does open and close, and it's a really nice touch. If you prefer your Joker more, more, a little more comical than sinister, he does also have, of course, he's got to have to have this. He does come with his bang flag. And the bang flag sits very easily into the gun, like so. A nice material. Really a, a decent looking material, too. It's uh, kind of like the old capes that we would get with the, uh, the original figures, like the older 80s figures. But uh, a nice material there. We can take the gun and put it into his hand. Just like so. You kind of have to do a little bit of adjusting to get the f the hand properly into the gun, like so. And you have something that looks like that. Just, again, again really nice added features. The, add the, the hands really allow you to do a lot of mixing and matching. It does get... It, te it tends to be a little frustrating when you get hands where you maybe get like one or two hands and then you try your best to get those hands to fit and hold properly the accessories that come included with the figure. Because you're getting eight different hands, you're getting a lot of, a lot of possibilities. Um, some of the other accessories the Joker does come included with, he does come with a stick of dynamite. And I know Spot understands he still is missing a hand. We'll get into that in a second. He does come with a stick of dynamite. The beauty of it, too, and really uh, summing up the overall feelings of the Joker figure, again, he's not a realistic approach to the figure. Uh, when you're going in and you're picking up a figure like this, you're going into it getting a comic version of the figure. And really, a lot of the accessories follow that same trend. The revolver has a very comic look to it. Same thing could be said for the dynamite here. Um, it's a really solid, it almost feels like it's a wire, but I think it's probably just a plastic piece. The majority of the stick of dynamite is plastic on there. It would have been nice, awesome. It really would have been a nice touch too if they had painted on like a little, a really crude smiley face on the dynamite. Just again, something that you really could see the Joker doing. Now, of course, he's got hands. He does have hands that are geared for holding the dynamite. So, I mean, having the the dynamite held, is it won't be a problem. Now, of course, we finding the proper hands. Probably want to get something that looks like that. He does also come with his, let's open this up, his straight razor, which does actually open up, which is a nice touch as well. This section, this piece right here, I would imagine to be a little fragile, so just be a little careful when opening and closing it. But uh, again, a nice touch that they included it. Another accessory that he does come with, I'm much smaller. In fact, I think excluding the trading, the playing cards, this would be the smallest accessory that Joker comes with, and that is a lighter. But, if I can just move my very large thumbs out of the way, even on the lighter itself is a Joker logo. A really nice touch. And then lastly, well, I shouldn't say lastly, you get yourself, so I'll put some into his hand. There we go. 
you get several different playing cards all of which appear to be the Joker of different... It looks as if... What, what I like about it is it looks like Joker just basically went in and picked out cards and then... Because each backing is different from one another. There's a green back and there's one of the Joker cards. kind of has an aged look to it, which I like. Joker, I guess, just kind of gave up on on looking for Jokers and just got a jack of clubs. And he's painted on there as well. He's painted actually a smiley face on the uh, the Joker faces there or jack faces. Um, once again, a different back backing. And there's a different face right there, a joker. And it's got ha 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 all over it. And lastly, probably, uh, I don't know which one I like more. This one's kind of neat as well. Once again, uh, like a joker, jester kind of card. Again, with a different back. And you can even see that the backing of the card has a wear to it. So like Joker, over the course of his crime sprees and his killings, he's acquired, uh, I like the fact he's just picked out all the different Joker cards from different decks. I mean, that's just a, it's just a really nice touch. I mean, they didn't really have to give us uh, the idea that these are all different backed cards. But again, a really nice inclusion that they, uh, they packed with this Joker. Which I guess really brings us to the last accessory, the last accessory that comes with the Joker is a Jester Skull Cane. And once again, some really nice detailings on that, the top of that cane. You know somebody isn't quite right when they have a Jester Skull for the top of their cane. Now, had you ordered this figure also from, there was a Sideshow exclusive version of this Joker which actually came with a few laughing fish. Those fall under the accessories that Spot wishes ha had been included with the regular release of the Joker, but really, truth be told, I wouldn't have likely had Joker displayed with them anyways. I'm just somebody that likes to hoard a lot of accessories. Oh, oh, I want, you know, laughing fish. I want this, I want that. But really, at the end of the day, what am I gonna really display Joker with? Probably gonna be the revolver, probably gonna be the cane or the stick of dynamite. I know, I know what you're thinking. Let's actually put a Joker hand, let's put another hand into his, uh, into the socket, just so it doesn't look a little awkward. There we go, we'll just pick that into place. So, in the way of his articulation, we'll just take the revolver out of his hand for a second. In the way of his articulation, Joker certainly has quite a bit of articulation going for him. Let's bring the camera up here. His head does rotate very, very easily. And one thing actually I didn't even touch base on, which I really should have, Joker does also come with an alternate or an extra ball socket for the head. So even if you are worried or if you ever get to the point where you remove the head and it comes out with the ball joint socket and you think to yourself, oh, I really don't want to have to fight to get that socket back out, you could easily just put this socket in the alternate head and just swap it out like that. So I like that they included that. But, going back to his articulation, his head rotates very easily left and right. His neck also moves up and down. So really, there's an independent ball joint right there, and there's also a ball joint right at the top of his neck as well. So, you get really a lot of different looks. So really, lots of flexibility. Uh, his shoulders do move out, uh, forward and back. He does have a rotation in the bicep area. It also looks as if he's got a double bend in the elbow, which I really like also. That double bend. He's got the upper torso crunch, which also looks to be a ball joint, which moves up and down, left and right. Um, his legs go forward, they go back, they go out. He does have a bend. Now, his bend is an interesting bend, whereas the fact that the bend of the knee really starts at around there. It's a double bend in the knee that's really is a bend there, a bend there. But when you're bending it, you really feel as if it's not going to give just yet. You just have to do a little bit more to get that to bend, but you get a nice solid double bend in the knee. And then, of course, he's got the rotation and movement in the foot. Uh, these feet slightly loose on my figure, but it's not something that I'm sure is the case with every single figure, but um, it's, a, it's a good looking figure. I mean, I I think the only thing I would really say is maybe the material in the jacket and the clothing um, could have been maybe a little bit better. 
But again, a lot of it lends itself to the style of the char of the character, really, that the figure is based on. Um, again, you're not buying it because you're getting a realistic approach to the Joker. You're getting it because you want a comic version of the Joker. And I love the sinister look on his face. Um, also, his body is very lanky. It's a very skinny, very lanky looking figure. But again, lends itself to the idea of what Joker is. Joker has never been a big, massive character, nor really has he ever been a very average size build. He's very, he's always been a very lanky, very, um, I was going to say like a weaselly, skinny looking character. And, and using the, the thin body that they went with, I think only further kind of brings out the essence of what Joker is. Uh, today, today's collectible spot, this one was a little bit longer, but today we are having a look at the Sideshow Collectibles, the 1 6 scale uh, Joker figure. And certainly if you want to get your hands on this guy, and I, I don't blame you, I th would think for Joker fans out there, you probably would want to get your hands on this. Um, you can also check out over at Alter Ego Comics, and uh, you could pick one up there, which is also where Spot ended up picking his up as well. As always, thanks you guys for watching. Thanks for checking out Spot's videos. Certainly stay tuned. Spot's going to have a lot more heading your way in the way of collectibles and other stuff to come. Thanks for watching. I love that smile. See you guys next time.